In this video, I'll show you how to convert a PNG or JPEG into an SVG file. Now, I'm just an e-learning designer developer, but from time to time I have a need to use Adobe Illustrator, and I've learned a few things along the way. One of which is how to convert a PNG or a JPEG file into an SVG. The reason you might do this is that if you're using SVG graphics inside of your e-learning authoring tool, you're going to get a nice, clean, crisp image that is based on vector graphics rather than a bitmap image. So here's the process here. So on my desktop, I have a fake logo. It's in a PNG format here. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and we're going to go ahead and open it with Adobe Illustrator 2023. Now, this video actually replaces an older version of the video. Obviously, Adobe Illustrator, like most Adobe software, gets updated from time to time. So I decided to update this video for the purposes of this particular workflow. So as you can see here, I have my logo on the screen and I need to convert that. So the very first thing we need to do is make sure our image trace panel is open. So I'm gonna click on the window drop down menu and select image trace there. Now one of the reasons I'm doing this video is that some of the feedback I got from other uh, viewers of the older video is that this was a little confusing here because it's all grayed out here. Uh, the easiest solution is to go into your select drop down menu and either select select all or select all on active artboard. In most cases, either will work. And uh, we've got the auto detect preset selected here. I'm going to change this to logo, which makes sense because obviously this is what we're working with here. Tracing may proceed slowly. This particular image is a rather large file. Obviously, the larger, the better quality trace you're going to get. But don't worry too much about that. Just click OK. Obviously, once you've done this process, you won't need to worry about doing it every single time you need this logo. You'll have a version of it as an SVG, and you can use it over and over again. Now, in this case here, depending on the complexity of the image, as you can see here, I've got a gradient, which is going to contain many colors. I might want to increase this color amount here. So let's choose full tone color just to increase that right up to 100. And now the next step is to select object and go down to image trace and select expand. And what this will do is create a series of layers in Illustrator that represents all the elements that make this up. Now, of course, SVG is vector graphics, so it's going to remember those points. And uh, if you go over to the layers panel, and open this up, you can see actually all the elements that make up this particular logo. It's characters, it's shapes, and all that stuff. So now we can go to File, and we can Export, and choose Export As, and as long as you select SVG, you'll be good to go. So I can go ahead and export this particular image to SVG format, You'll receive this options window. Obviously, if there's anything you need to change here, you can. I'm going to leave the defaults and just simply click on OK. So once it's exported, you can open it up in whatever SVG viewer you wish or import it into your e-learning project, whatever it might be, and you'll get a nice, crisp, clean logo. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.